Oh, we have a nice three gem here. Pocket Force, around 20 bigs against Hijack, Chip Leader Open. Very nice hand, very nice spot. Very high V, we would say, in poker. Good luck, us. I mean, he has a ton of busted draws, but he also has a lot of bluff catches, like seven, eight diamonds. Um, so I'm just gonna jam this. You must be fucking shitting me. All right, good luck in the. He wakes up with aces, bro. Uh -huh. Bullet number three. Ha! Flash! Flashy flashes. No, here. We usually bet this bot small just to attack his 10 deuce hearts, and he's gonna have jack 10 diamonds a lot of the times. Oh, I we really looking for like a nice setup with against ace 10 and clubs oh uh, i think i'm gonna call this this guy is extremely aggro i think he jams like nine six suited and stuff oh yeah good read just good reads uh, this is weird i mean what would be my bluffs nine eight ten nine he calls twice. I think he's on a flush, to be honest. I don't want to bet too small. I think he might be on a flush, actually. I think the ace might kill some action. 10 nines, 9 eights, I would be bluffing. All right, let's go. Nice. Yeah, he had a flush, so sick. I told you, set up for me. You know what, chat? I'm gonna ch <laughs> gonna show a sign of optimism. Let's see when day two is over. Uh, whoa! Hoppa! That's already a premium hand. Tournament breaks when nine players remain. Well, that's already. Uh, well, we're gonna go with this one. Good luck, us. Good luck, us chat. No replay. Oh my god, he has an ace. Oh, hold. Let's go. Hey guys, if you speak German, dann jetzt aufpassen. We just recently released our course with Xflix, a tournament course for beginners and intermediate players for a very affordable price. And now, throughout the Christmas time and until the beginning of the year, we are going to offer a $50 discount. Again, it is aimed towards beginners and immediate players, so go check it out. It's a very interactive format where I teach Xflix, where he's asking a lot of questions. We go very deep, yet we keep it very simple, but you will also find introduction and information videos if you are interested to learn more. And as always, it also comes with a refund period, so if you want to check it out for a couple of days and you realize hmm, it's not really for you, you have nothing to lose. Of course, you have questions. We have a support. Now, I don't want to bother you too long. Now, enjoy the video and you find everything else in the description below. Enjoy. Um, I think you can still min raise a lot. I mean, we're going to min raise ace, ace kings, queens, jacks, uh, even ace king suited. We can min raise. We're going to be shoving like queen jack suited, ace since you he's flats here. This is a board where you just want to check. The problem is <clears throat> if you have queen 10 and hearts, 
U Block, King Ten Hearts, um, Jack Ten type of fans. Um, we have already we block Queen Jack and Hearts, King Queen Hearts, Queen Ten Hearts, of course, that we're trying to fold out. Um, the thing is that he he could have 10-9, but he's not gonna have lots of 10x, maybe ace and king 10. And Exota can still have traps, so we are going to value bet the river. Uh, you can definitely have jack 10 suited, 10 9 suited, um, but we only have one street against that hand anyway. Um, but yeah. Nice little pot there. The reason why I like to min race here is, of course, if you only raise ace, kings, queens, then it can get easily exploited. But I would also raise ace, king, ace, queen suited with a certain frequency, even jacks. And then if you have hands that are, of course, profitable to jam, but I think you make almost the same EV as with jamming. So yeah, that's why I really like the min race. It just looks super strong. And I would literally take the, like the, the hands that are close in EV with jamming or break even, like queen 10 suited, 11 big blinds from another gun is quite close here. Something like ace 8 suited, ace 9 suited, ace 10 off. Everything better than queen 10 suited we can jam, right? King queen off, king jack suited, king 10 suited, queen jack suited. <clears throat> so the reason why I like his 4-bit jam, and that's why he's also one of the best. I mean, he has, I think, had a pretty good year, at least from what I've seen his caches. Um, <clears throat> It's just a spot where I think he's three betting very wide, button versus cut off 870k in the middle. These four bit jams, pretty good. I mean, he's gonna just, you're gonna pick up these 800k uncontested so often. It's just unlucky for him that uh, he woke up with a hand. But then he got lucky. Uh, yeah, I think King Queen off. We have to go with this one. Yeah. King Queen off is too strong against the hijack range. He's still gonna have a lot of hands that we dominate. So we're gonna be reshoving this. We have 9.1 9 big blinds. We might have a little bit of forward equity, but King Queen off is going in here. <clears throat> 13.37 big blinds. <laughs> That's a sign. No snap call. That's good. Let's go. <clears throat> what is the difference? Why would I fold Jack 10 suited life game? Because people are a little more scared, right? So instead of shoving six to sevens, they just call or they're not shoving king queen. Um, they're not shoving. Maybe also I might be shoving a 10 nine suited. So it's like life, the ranges are just so much tighter. So yeah, that's why. And also you have a much bigger edge. So even Jack 10 suited is not a fist pump snap call. And you should always try to avoid these margin spots with, um, with calling all in. Fuck. We're gonna throw the trash can and then we call it. <laughs> that was close, chat. Oh, again, nice hand to reshuffle here against those sticks. We take a flop. Ha! Oh! Flash! We call it. <sighs> Does it make sense? He snap checks. Does he have something like Jack 10? I feel like I don't have a lot of nut flush draws. I would, I would, uh, what can I have? Like Jack 10, Jack 9. I don't have a lot of high flush draw hands. Like Jack 10, I'm not bluffing. Like I don't have Jack 7 off, Jack 8 off. A lot of like Ace 5 with the Ace and Hearts. I'm also raising on the flop. I think I just want to bet mostly small because I can Bad a king. I don't think I have a lot of bluffs. I don't think I want to have big sizings here. Okay, I mean, this is a cooler anyway. I like his turn check. I like his turn check a lot. 
Because on this turn, now imagine, right, he flats big blind versus another gun. So if we have king five and spades, you fold out all of these hands. But by checking back, he keeps his range wide. He doesn't need to protect his hand. If a hard get comes there, like we, we're not gonna, we don't have jack five off. So we already have a better flush, decent amount of the time. Or we have a hand like queen nine and spades, which we fold. If we have a two pair, like also it's very unlikely that we just call queen ten and spades here three way on the flop. Like, oh, with someone left to act. So he understands very well that with betting, he actually loses value, in my opinion. But by checking, he also has jack tens, ace tens, um, and he knows we have ace twos, ace three, ace four, and hearts. I mean, the money goes in and against the flush anyway. But if we check back, he can represent like um, a low pair, pocket threes, pocket fives with one heart, that then bluffs the river. And also we start then, if we now have king five and spades, we can value bet against like a jack 10, maybe represent a few busted flush draws. So yeah, I think his check makes a lot of sense. Also he blocks the king nine off, king eight off kind of cans that we might flat here with one heart that would continue. We're very likely not gonna have king five off five in uh, hearts, you know? Uh... Or I don't I don't hate the bet uh, betting big. Let's play the sand first. I think flop and turn are pretty standard. You can still have seven nine. Um, of course, some nine eights, but still like king nine, jack nine, ten deuce and hearts. We block queen jack. Uh, we're gonna call it. It looks very strong though, but with the with the open and straight draw, we call it. Very well, an easy check. We have enough short on value. He can he can bluff something like if he floated Jack two and diamonds on the flop Jack five. I mean we have the diamond actually. Yeah, but I mean we have top here. We're not gonna. What the fuck. Mm, all options are fine. Three bet call. I'm gonna call this. There are a couple of shoving stacks. I would play a good hand post flop. Especially if someone like Miss Oracle who really likes to um, go in with lower pairs. Um, if he jams, we have the dream spot here. Should be checking this board a lot. Yeah, because he has way more 6x. How are we gonna call it? I mean, you can still bet pocket eights and nines, so just for protection, I don't think we can fold here yet. If he jams, I think we have an easy fold. Because we're not gonna have fives and sevens anymore. And he's just mostly jamming his over pairs. Or is he jamming? Oh, but he's not gonna have ace. He's gonna have ace 10 diamonds, ace 10 clubs. But he's probably folding this on the flop already. So we're not beating really anything here. Uh, nope. I remember us 10 big blinds happens. Oh, all right. We got a final table chat. Uh, what happened here? Wait. Oh my god, what a sick, what a puke spot, seriously, for him. Oh my god, this is so disgusting. This is so disgusting. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at this. Chat. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Oh, that's that's insane. Chat, we made it. 
Final Table tomorrow, I'm gonna be streaming it. Thank you so much for... From three big blinds, I told you guys, we're gonna make it. I was hyped yesterday and down a lot. Not fully there yet, but um, we're probably close to break even. Or well, we're only down, we're only down 40k. So considering the way it went yesterday, very, very happy. I was, all of you guys have been following since yesterday going through that pain and i told you even if we just bring it somewhat close to break even considering the buy-ins i have that's already good god come gonna be ready for tomorrow and yeah i'm gonna be streaming this um jam is fine so i think i'm just gonna flat this if I have less than 25, I would jam. I think 28 under ICM is a bit too much. Shippy V, very good jam. I think on the final Terry here, um, flooding is also very reasonable. And if they squeeze, we can also even mix in some traps, aces, kings, queens here. <clears throat> Thank God I didn't jam. <laughs> Unless they're goofing around with whatever. I mean, button laws. Button laws, you never know. Button laws. If he has seven for off and his uh, in favor is seven. <coughs> oh. Wow. Oh, I didn't even see. GG Orb. Yeah, I think. Wow, he jams this. Oh, we have a nice three jam here. Pocket force, around 20 bigs against Hijack, chip it open. Very nice hand, very nice spot. Very high V, we would say in poker. Good luck, us. GG, that's it, chat. G, 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 G. Well, that's it for me. Nothing we can do. Gotta, gotta win those flips. I mean, it was look, look good, right? Onto the river. I was actually, please, no, no blue card. And then it's the nasty 10. Yeah, chat. That's it for this year. I had a good year. I mean, the last couple of months weren't running necessarily so great. I'm actually not sure. We cashed for what? 70k? So are we break even at least with Sunday? Almost. Almost. I mean we cashed for about 100 k bought in for 110k on Sunday. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Very much excited to come back. I'm now heading into the holidays. My family arrived today as well. Uh, fortunately I wanted to surprise them with the with the EPT trophy, but was not meant to be. Played my heart out, you guys know I'm trying to look for those spots. I was actually very well prepared. Had an entire word document. Uh, for every single player, the way I prepared usually for those. Oh, there's actually maybe here. Ace five suited for the jam. Wow, what a sweat! Ooh, what nonsense. I like his for the jam. Yeah, I like it. I think it's standard. It might. I know some of you it might look punty, but I think it's pretty good. Don't forget, we released the German course, a German poker course with Xflix, and also in January we're going to be releasing an entire new ICM section for pairs. Stay tuned. That's going to be epic. I teased a little bit already yesterday and I'm out. See you guys until next time. Bye bye.